Who is it? We have to address. Twerking on him. Who twerking? Oh my god. Twerking on him. Not that she wasn't that. No, she can't just be like. She wasn't. She was twerking on him. On him. Alright, man. Mr. Roberts. Hey. Hey, bro. Welcome to the first ever journey pod. Yeah. Cast. Well, we're out here. Yeah, man, we out here, we have a hot beverage, you know, we just have yeah. to have a hot beverage because it's My hot. mug says 100% coffee, bitter and sweet, with cocoa and no milk. Mine says the exact same thing. Look From at that. Little, the audience know we're drinking hot zigolo. Ah, this daddy, is my- mine is tea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you are drinking, mine is tea. All right. All right, man, right, cool. Right. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about everything vulnerability okay mm-hmm. so um, and obviously the goal of this podcast is to be as real as possible right um because if we're not real how are people gonna relate you know what i'm saying yeah um yeah so from your perspective of things what's vulnerability what's being vulnerable you know when you asked me to come and speak on vulnerability <laughs> I was like, why did you choose vulnerability? Why <laughs> 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 couldn't you choose money or something? Ah. Yeah, I want to be real. Yeah, I think being vulnerable is pretty much um, being brave enough to face society and mm. all of its, um, you know what I mean, and all of its expectations and its ways. Weights, one ways, weights. Mm. You know, so pretty much like. There's all this stuff going on around me, and being vulnerability is pretty much. Am I at a point to let that in? Like, I'll share myself out with it. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. Ah, uh, nice. No, we'll get to do now the deep stuff. I very did. Soon, I huh? did my homework. Yeah, this you shouldn't be, have. You shouldn't have. I would <laughs> like to to decide the person I stole that from. Wow. But um, yeah. Um, I mean, cool. And and I think. I can relate to like the whole, especially like the expectation part of it, yeah. right? Uh, because the truth of the matter is there is an expectation, right? Either we've sort of created it subconsciously or it's been created for us, right? And like one example I can probably give is um, the typical, if you're a Christian, you're seen in a certain light, mm. right? If so and so who doesn't usually go to church, you find him at the bar, it's like it's a normal common thing, right? It's like it's almost like ah we expect that yeah. from him. But then if I find my pastor in a bar, it's like, oh huh? mm. there's something wrong here, right? Because I expect a certain thing of him. Right? And I feel like it gets a bit jade when the expectations begin to paint a picture of like I expect a certain form of perfection from mm. you right mm. especially yeah, christian you've got some kind of a spotlight yeah you know ah but when she played that yeah. ah, chadi, that's why one press team so yeah. and you know there's, yeah. there's there's that thing and where vulnerability i guess comes in for me is <clears throat> challenging that expectation right so there's i'm expected to be perfect but what if i tell you i'm not you know mm. what I'm saying? It's 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 being brave to show people, not to say, because it's one thing to say. I feel mm. like we can all say, ah, I'm not perfect. Mm. Ah, no one's perfect, right? Mm. <laughs> but to show that I'm imperfect is, I guess, takes bravery and vulnerability. Mm. So, amen. So amen. pretty much, why, why, why is it important? Like, I know you, you're like, nah, can we talk about vulnerability, man? Yeah. So, like, I ask myself, like, why is he, what's so special about vulnerability? Like, we know what it is, but why, why listen to you, like, why, mm. I f- why is it heavy on your heart? Yeah, I I feel it's heavy on my heart because, honestly, in, in the spirit of vulnerability. Yeah, in the spirit of vulnerability. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you, know you can't say certain words with being childish. You have to say it in a very serious tone. You know, you know, in the spirit of, in the spirit of uh, vulnerability, vulnerability, vulnerability it's, it's, it's pretty yeah. much... Um, is, but in the spirit of vulnerability! Ah, uh, whatever! <laughs> <laughs> in the spirit of, of you know, vulnerability <laughs> is... I I think I've, I've been one of those who've sort of accepted a certain image, right? Or a certain expectation of perfection. Okay. Right? And if I'm not going to be vulnerable about, like, showing, like, yo... 
this picture that you see of like ah this dude is just he's the one is is perfect is i begin to live a lie right and whether i like it or not it's going to affect me and i think i, I think i can put it like this i heard someone like once say um like you have a wound right mm. like or like a scar you've cut mm. yourself or something mm. and then i mean obviously it hurts and mm. it's ugly but then if we cover it up we can't deal with it mm. right and so like we walk around with our wounds but like we're covering them up it's like ish man like don't mm. you know like mm. ah, you can't see this part of me because it's ugly mm. but then you might get away with it in the fact that yes you're covering it right and yeah. so you're kind of winning because like you don't want people to see it and they're yeah. not seeing it yeah. but it's there right it's yeah. there and it actually hurts and uh, so if you reveal it you can heal it you know what i'm saying mm. uh you go to the doctor and you're covering it up it's like ah mm. bruh let's see what's going on mm. but then, <laughs> you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah should, should you be vulnerable with everyone now that's my question should you let uh-huh. yeah. everyone see your wound because like a lot of like even for myself um, there are times i can i can be vulnerable with mm. people but i'm like do i want to be vulnerable exactly with yeah i feel um you you should have a healthy circle of people right because again you're not just going to show everyone your wound right there's yeah. there's people who can actually help and there's people who just be like e that's one nasty wound bro you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so there there should be <clears throat> there should be a circle of obviously friends healthy circle where there's certain like deep stuff mm-hmm. that you can reveal mm-hmm. um but then again there's the there's just that general yeah side of it right is uh we there's a phrase we like to say like oh we all go through something right like oh we all struggle mm-hmm. but then no one says what exactly the struggle is right, right. and if it, like for me like i've overheard this a lot like especially christians and whatever is uh oh i struggled with this yeah right like, like, oh like, yeah it's, it's done like, exactly it's like ah yeah. i used to go through mm, it was wild yeah, back when i was in the right? world guys. yeah it's it's always yeah. past tense right yeah. but then we always keep saying this thing of oh everyone goes through something yeah. i want to cut you off and, and make an, a very unpopular statement opinion i don't think we believe that people are like you know the thing is nobody's perfect mm. i don't think we believe it because shed the more light yeah let me <laughs> shed some light on that uh in the spirit of vulnerability mm, yeah. right right <laughs> i don't think we believe that um no one is perfect because the same people we are the same people that say no one is perfect yeah. but yet we set perfection standards you know what i mean we project perfection mm. standards on people we like i expect you to be perfect i expect this. you know what i mean yeah so it's it's kind of crazy and um i my views on it are um in my head is your heart and your mental health and your whole um emotion you know your emotional state your whole being is pretty much like a yard yeah and in that yard you've got like a house and you've got um you've got stuff in there right you've got assets yeah. you've got so that's pretty much like your your state of well-being you know that, that's your state that yeah. house is your state yeah. So pretty much every house needs a wall fence, right? Mm. And go these boundaries. Mm. So this stuff is pretty much what defines you like where where do I end? Where do I stop? Mm. You, know, you know like all that stuff. Now, in my head, vulnerability is am I going to ask Uncle John the gardener mm. to open up the gate when someone hoots to enter? Because mm. you know in that house you've got leakages, you've got you know there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs yeah, to work on. Yeah. Now vulnerability is pretty much in my head like okay, how can I am I willing to get to open up you know what i mean for people mm-hmm. to come in so it's 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 there's goods and bads like you should let certain people come in like you said and you should let uncle john lock the gate sometimes yeah that's true that's you know? true now i think we end on just having boundaries mm. and closing up yeah. and living in this house mm. and you know what i mean will i am i am legend kind of tip yeah man you know what i mean just i'm a survivor nobody I'm gonna entering. make yeah. it yeah. yeah um what what do you think is like why do you think we do that right um this whole thing of like the statement you said like we yeah. don't fully believe like uh, no one's perfect right but then like why do you think we do that like we know uh, like okay me I'm not perfect and like no one is perfect but we expect perfection, perfection like like why do we do that people. like like for example the 
I don't know if you saw the whole Kirk Franklin thing, right? Like yeah. the son, that whole cussing out incident and whatever, I right? I haven't seen it. What's it? You haven't seen it, What's Julian it? Roberts. Uh, buy me bundles, guys. Uh, buy no, me bundles. Actually, no, no, that's it's not that type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like the son recorded like a heated argument that they had, right? And so Kirk Franklin. The son. Yeah. Uh, obviously, they've had issues with that relationship, right, and whatever. Um, and so the son posted that that like recording of the call. So like, where Kirk Franklin is like cussing him out, and uh-huh. yeah, and so now like everyone now is like, oh yeah, Kirk Franklin, you can't do what, what you can't. Ah, sad, yeah, gospel, chan, chan. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. it's that thing of where like, but like, why do we do that, man? Like. Like, we hear all these things, like, everywhere else, man. Like, all the music we listen to on yeah. TikTok, like, I've seen enough TikToks. Like, there's insults in the words, in the in the jams, in the yeah. tracks. And, like, it's okay there, right? Yeah. But then the moment it comes from someone who we deem as, like, an image right. of, like, perfection or whatever, or it's, like, it's, it's an issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what goes on in our heads? Like, why do we... Why do we do that? Yeah, like, it, I, I don't know. It... It doesn't make sense. What What do you think? I think Jesus said it best. You know me, I'm a man of God. Man of mm. God. That's what I am. That's the problem when you read one scripture. Yeah. You read the same Bible study. Yeah. You use the same Bible study. Yeah. You know those homies that be using the same prayer. Yeah. Heavenly Father, bless you for in Jesus' name. I pray. Mm. Amen. 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 Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Jesus said... Um, pretty much, I'm gonna paraphrase it, mm. and he pretty much said, "Not all, not all of you homies out there. Don't be, don't be quick to just be a teacher. You know what I mean? Like just, I'm a teacher. I'm gonna teach this because I heard it yeah. once on the radio. He said because you're gonna be judged more harshly. Yeah, now, exactly. teachers of the, of, you know what I mean? That doesn't mean that if you are, if you if you teach in a in a, in a school, then you stand. Pretty much like you said, once the spotlight is on you, yeah. you are a What's that man? Every, do you know that phrase? Every man is a sultan to his own word. Yeah. You don't know it? No, I only know Bemba Proverbs. Okay. Yeah, but I can't uh, say them. It's the week, I can't say them because, you know, I'll be judged. You will be judged. I'll be judged. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much, it's like, whatever you say, whatever you mm. say and whatever you put out there is pretty much you putting out your standards and hence you're giving society an expectation of yeah. yourself. Mm. Now the bad thing, so pretty much if I come out and say my name is Julian Roberts, I hate, um, I hate swearing. Mm. I hate swearing. And I hate it and you you homies should stop. You, you, I was about to say uh, the N-word, <laughs> but I don't know how far your podcast is going. Uh, <laughs> d- d- you can say it. Nah. You, can, you can say it. <laughs> you nutcrackers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, you know, you should stop swearing, stop ah, swearing, nice, nice. stop swearing. And then I'll go out and I'll be swearing. Mm. Now, that's that. Obviously, I, um, I've, I might have my issues on that day. Mm. I might have lost a relative and I might be in a bad emotional state. Mm. But naturally speaking, people are not going to gravitate towards investigating and getting clarity as to why you're doing something. Okay. Their first response to this, this guy set a standard and so does his brand he sold us who he is you know what I mean yeah. he gave us a, a, a brochure and he's not living up to this yeah. you know now an un- unmet expectation always leads to frustration so pretty much if you give me if I expect something of you and you don't meet it I'm frustrated yeah. so that standard is either set by you know either you mm. or society it's 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 a whole topic yeah. how do we end up like creating a realistic expectation of ourselves right um so i want to i want to paint a picture of i'm a person who's not perfect right yeah. i'm Clearly. progressing Clearly. you know what i'm saying yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's obvious right <laughs> so i'm i'm progressing rather than me being a picture of perfection right yeah. but at the same time still preach the gospel, the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This doesn't make sense. Yeah. You can tell me if that makes sense. I'm not perfect. <laughs> so pretty much like how 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 best do you Yeah. How how do I paint this image? Or like will, will it ever end, man? Because I don't know now, you know Chandler more. 
Yeah. You saw the picture I posted ish bra I don't know it's social oh, media you're yeah, on. Yeah, it. the wife chanchani, the hot yeah. working thingy. Ah, she did. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> 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 it was interesting, right? And it's actually you know, like the newlyweds and whatever. But they now start whole thing of this image, right? Every yeah. time you think of Chanda Mo, it's oh, where is she? Ah, that song that did this for me. And then there's ah, but why, 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 why are they posting such things? No, better, better, be, 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 better, mm. better yet. Mm. Who <laughs> took the video of her? It's <laughs> the question we have to address. Who, twer- who, twerking on him? Who twerking? Oh my yeah, god! Twerking on him? She Not just she wasn't just no. She can't just be. Like, she wasn't. She was course, twerking on him. On him. On her. Husband. So it ah, uh, but now that's a that's a bit of a paradigm, huh? You see, that's the wrong use of the wrong way of use. Uh, maybe I don't know. But I don't know. Uh, you know, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? The other question you have asked it. Answer you see, it. now it's it's. I don't know, man. I really don't know where we get it from. Like I, I really don't know where we what? get it from, right? Like because I mean, I've never seen Chandler post or talk about like oh twerking or shan shan is wrong or don't do this, don't do that, right? It's just that he talks about God. He glorifies God. He's an amazing worshiper, yeah. right? Yeah. And then the moment we see something that's like yeah. you know, controversial, it's like ah he's me- he da- he done messed up. Now in my opinion, I think ah he's entitled to do what he wants. You know what I'm saying? Like that's his social media, that's his wife, can't his wife tweak on him. Uh did it offend you in any way? You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, was it provocative for you? Yeah. It wasn't, right? So like that's 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 my thing. Like, bruh, she's your babe. Right. Enjoy yourself, right? Yeah. Now my thing is, what if he actually did mess up, right? Like oh like maybe a clip goes out where like he was cussing or something like that, right? Or like, you know, he, like he actually performed, like he yeah. cheats on his wife. Yeah. You know, then now it's like, yeah, finish. Yeah finish when we know the stats bro like we know the stats people are cheating all the time we make memes about it we make videos we make funny videos about ah, men, what, what, ah. after good fear men you know what i'm saying like we we talk about because we see how real it is but then the moment we see a real person go through it as like yeah yeah you 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 you're not supposed to perform mm. Mm. You know the funny thing is with influencers or musicians is society gets regular people mm. and forces them on a pedestal. Mm. So pretty much they make that person an idol in a way. Yeah. So they push this person up and I I guess ascribe they pretty much like like just push out their expectations. I don't know. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's a tricky one. But let me tell you something that 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 thought I've just said doesn't really processed in my head. Yet. I'm still thinking about it. But what I can say is, um, Michael Todd said something about people are like, um, like what, what you call it, like a prism, right? Has got like three sides to it. Mm. So. On one end, we get to see. Oh, maybe four. It could be. I don't maybe know. Six, I, I failed mathematics back in high school, but it's got, it's got like the different sides to it. You turn it, you see one side. You turn it, you see one side. We consume the artistry side of Chanda more. Mm-hmm. So pretty much, we 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 get to take in the music side, but we don't get that he's also like a father. Mm. He's a married man. Mm. You know what I mean? He's a he's a what? To some people, he's he's, he's a brother. Mm. So he's got di- so to some people, he's got like he's, he's, you know what I mean? Yeah. So there are different sides to people that when you when you when you twist the the pyramid um, or the prism, whatever you call it. Mm you find a different side to him. Yeah. And then it all ties up. Mm. Like, ah, okay. This guy is a guy that loves God, but if we twist it this side, this guy is coming from a broken home mm. that went through a whole bunch of theft issues. Mm. So sometimes that might seep into the, the music. Yeah. Now, I think that once society, and I don't know if it's possible, mm. it might be, you know, faith in God, but people, it, it goes down to people's mindsets. Everyone needs to understand that um, everyone is a human being, yeah. right? With, with with the grace of God, yes, you can live a life that's beautiful, mm. you know what I mean, free from sin and all this kind of mm. stuff. But we should also understand that people are people. Yeah. Prone to make mistakes. Now, mess up. 
Yeah, now it goes back to the other people as well, the influencers on the platforms, mm. is don't come out, in my head, don't come out as, you know what I mean? Don't, don't set your expectations without you actually living out your expectations. Yeah. Like your standards. Yeah, I feel you. I, I, I feel like this is where kind of it comes back down to vulnerability. Yeah. yeah. Is, I mean, like you said, we, there's, there's all these sides, right? And if all I show you is the side of me that's progressing, right? right? I'm doing ministry stuff. Oh, today we decided to visit Shanshani Orphanage. Hey, man, today we went to the prisons. Hey, bro, the worship Shanshani today was on fire. Yeah. There was yeah. healing and whatever. And I never show you, like, damn, I can be weak sometimes. You know, yeah. it's I create this one sided right, exactly. image, and that's like that's all I'll ever exactly. kind of show you. Yeah, and now, like, it, it becomes wild because now the image you've shown them is what they expect of you. So now, even you mm. kind of like, ah, then I can't have moments of weakness mm. because the moment they see that, it's wild for mm-hmm, me. Mm-hmm. And this image that they are, yeah, so and I just can't feel like we we should kind of normalize, obviously. Um, le- showing people like the side also that struggles right now obviously like you said there's a lot of like boundaries and obviously I'm not gonna post on social yeah. media yo you guys I just had sex with this chick yeah it's wild for me you know like obviously this yeah <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you tag you I'm sorry <laughs> ah, I'm sorry yeah guys it's wild you know I perform uh, with, yeah, with, 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 with this don't one don't. Who, yeah, please pray for us <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy, but but like we sh- we should have those people around us, right? Who we can I can come and say, bro, I slept with this chick. It's wild, you yeah. know. And I I and have I performed. feel this way, and I feel exactly this kind of right. Way. Yeah. yeah, and and like even like with with generally, if especially like for if we've got like some form of influence, we're in the public eye, right? Is you like it's wild. Uh, I've felt lonely before mm. like I was going through this or I'm going through this mm. and I I can't lie I, I do get like I feel I feel this loneliness so I feel this anxiety I feel this yeah. I feel this worry yeah. like you know it's there I mean I'm pushing I'm trying right. to get through it but right. this is the reality now right. and yeah you it it yeah I I feel like it 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 can also kind of help with this whole the like I'm not just gonna show you like one, yeah, one side. facet. Yeah, like you know, uh, one side of of who I am. And like, there's there's something I wanted to say. Um, social media, huge, right. huge, huge, like influence on like how we see certain things. And I I can be one to tell you I've I've compared before. Okay. You know, social media. Because I mean, let's look at the people who. Compared you yourself on social media? Yeah. Okay. The people we kind of follow on social media, the people who obviously have our number on WhatsApp, we see their stories mm. and, you know, the people mm. who follow their... There's, like, some similarities, right? So, like, right. for us or artists, we we follow artists, we are friends with artists, we are on Facebook, they are definitely going to be artists. Right. There's, there's that, right? There's people of our same age group, maybe people right. from school. Right. And then, you know, you find out ah, this one is driving. Yeah, and then you're like, mm. <laughs> you uh, know, what homie, homie, homie getting married. Yeah, I know. I, mm, uh, this one I, is engaged. I, I, ah, this uh, one uh, married properly. What they didn't have the child. What's the story? Mm, Look at your fellow artists. Mm, you started probably mm, even before them, mm, but then they've just come now. Now, <laughs> ah, like, bro, what's, yeah. what's what's going yeah, on, right? Yeah. And it's it's that thing of where that's that's what we're constantly seeing. Like even even from uh, our friends, our peers, or whatever. Yeah. We're constantly seeing this, mm. this one mm. side. Mm. We're not kind of seeing like a whole rounded picture, and it's everywhere. Mm. And so we we also kind of like it's it's. I feel like it's also like subconscious, right? Because I'm constantly gonna be seeing the good stuff. I'm kind of ah mm. okay ah, mm. ah this, this man is humble mm, ah this one is Chan ah this one is Chan Chan. You never really get to see like. Almost like the dark side, right? Which yeah. for me, like, is one of the things I appreciate about um, people like 
Michael mm. Todd. He's, he's, Michael he's Todd. good. He's good with it. Yeah, like I remember, like watching an an interview he had. I forgot his name. He spoke on pornography there, yeah. or something, right? Eh? Yeah, but like you could, you could. You could hear like the humility right. and how it's like right. ah like I'm telling you this now, but it's yeah. something I'm still also kind yeah. of like learning, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And you're yeah, like ah okay cool, you know? Mm. And mm-hmm. like you really see that man, like there's this, you know, social media gives you some yeah. very, it gives you confidence. Yeah. You know how yeah. there's certain things we wouldn't say, yeah. But then because I've yeah. got an audience yeah. on social yeah. media, when yeah. I comment, yeah. people yeah. will see. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can be commenting on a famous person's. Mm, post and you know how there are those people who are like ah, I'm just here for the yeah, comments yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we know that when you comment there will yeah, be people be who see yeah. we know that ah, we yeah. have an audience yeah. and so it's it's that man and right. yeah there there yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what um uh, let's 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 kind of bring it in have you like ever been faced with that kind of a dilemma right where mm-hmm. like either you have like presented a certain like oh this is what people see yeah yeah and like ah if they knew this i would have been wowed mm. yeah yeah obviously like i i love uh, i love jesus uh, i know jesus <laughs> and, I'm learning, loves you. and i'm ready i'm ready to love him more oh. <laughs> but um i first when i first started the whole music journey I felt like I needed to 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 look a certain way, yeah. to be a certain person, to mm. show a certain. And then I looked up to certain people that are that are doing it. Yeah. And then you know, like they they had they they mirrored a uh, a symbol of perfection. Mm. You know what I mean? They mirrored a. Whenever I go on stage, it's uh, hey guys, uh, like pretty much like they just flew like they they, they flowed. You know yeah. what I mean? In in, mm. in this in this um, stream of perfection. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> Their dress code was a certain way. Yeah. It screamed out, um, "I've got followers. Mm-hmm. I get likes. I'm happening. I'm happening. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm chilled. Yeah, hey, and I'm, I'm I'm just here to talk to you about God. Mm. And you know, guys, you should do this. Mm. And don't 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 hate God and let God mm. in. And you need God. Like mm. I'm a whole I'm a wholesaler of God. Yeah, and you know, you you just need this guy, which is great. But then like that's what I took in. Like, yeah. like that's the business. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So. What I had is I had a passion for music. Yeah. I had a growing interest and, you know, a growing interest to, like, further my relationship with Jesus. Yeah. And, like, oh, cool lifestyle. But on the other hand, and I also, like, a, I had a desire to pursue, um, you know what I mean? A whole music career. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and, yeah. and in this career, I hoped to to bless people. So that was the, the draft. That that was the, the basics. Yeah. That's what mm. I wanted. Yeah. Now, the, the, the alley... That was presented to me is this is the way you should take it. Yeah. You need to go this way, you need to go that way. Yeah. So, yeah, there was like a lot of pressure on that. Mm. I'm at a point now whereby um, I've been caught too yeah. many times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm tired, like, you know what I mean? It takes more energy to pretend to be something than actually to yeah. be who you are. True, sure. true. Sure. And I feel sure. like when you operate from a place of um, authenticity, yeah. it hits harder. Yeah. So, pretty much, if, if, I am passionate about sh- uh, tea, yeah. and I know what I love in my tea. I know how they they brew it up. But what's popular and what's trending is coffee. Mm. If I try to like go in a room and talk about coffee, I'll mess up. Yeah, I'll try. I'll, I'll look <laughs> good for the most part, mm. and, I, and I, I might I might actually try and you know cover yeah. it up, mm. but. In the long run, I won't sustain it. Yeah. So, if, but if I enter a room where ninety nine percent of the people are talking about coffee, and I go in and I talk about tea, mm. and people are like, I bet you ninety nine of those people, ninety nine percent of those people, the one the one percent might be like, ah, yeah, yeah, you know, you resonate with me. Mm. The ninety nine, this is what's going to happen. The ninety nine have heard about tea. Yeah. From uh, thousands and thousands of and thousands of people, but they won't hear about tea the way I talk about tea because mm. I'm so passionate about it and it's coming yeah. from me. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, I always give this example. So, like the Migos, mm. you know, they came in with this um, mambo rap trap. Yeah. 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 You don't know the Migos song, do you? I think so. You don't know a single uh, Migos song. Set, Mali Pekaset. Ah, is that them or is that Future? <laughs> I don't know. You know yeah, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't know Offset. 
I know of city. Offset? I, I, I know of yeah. I know of it. Yeah, you gave it to the system. <laughs> so pretty much, these guys, yeah. these guys thrived, mm. and they broke into the music industry because they're not trying to be anything but themselves. Exactly. Dabbing. Yeah. yeah. They, they were the pioneers of dabbing mm. because, and they interviewed them like, "How did you come with that?" They said, "Because so we felt." Mm. And when the studio <laughs> was said like dabbing, you know, yeah. and it became a huge thing. Mm, yeah. Whereas everyone else was trying to do the duggy and yeah. failing and perfect the duggy. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. But they said we do this. Yeah. And this what and so that's that's the whole that's the whole thing. Where am I at now is um yeah. yeah. I'm progressing, I love. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm nice. saying some, yeah, some there's, wisdom. <laughs> yeah, there's 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 um you reminded me of something, uh, Michael Todd. I've been listening to a lot of Michael Todd. Wait, he's cold. Yeah. There was something, yeah, sorry. There was something Michael Todd <laughs> talked about, like, uh, greatness, right? Yeah. And he was like, we are all called to be great. Oh. That's for sure. That's for sure. Um, the, the problem is what we think greatness looks like, right? Mm. And so another thing is, like, society has kind of painted what greatness should look like. Right. right? Followers. Whatever yeah. you're doing, if you're great, oh, you have followers. To say on that. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like ah, you yeah. you have followers. Yeah. Uh, you know, we should know you if if you are great. You know what yep. I'm saying? Yep. It's yep. it's that whole thing, and like that's kind of now what's messed it up is because now everyone is chasing after what looks to be mm. great, and no one actually just wants to do the actual stuff. No one I'm saying like no one just actually wants to be mm. great. Want to be seen as mm. oh mm. he's now successful, he's now made it. Oh look at his followers, look at his what what, right? Mm. And so and he mentioned something like he like he was just doing what he felt like hey. you know, like ah this is what God has told me to do. It's so now it's my purpose. Let me do it. Mm-hmm. Right? Relationship goals are like um, maybe you probably know the story. Uh like three hundred views. You know, they shot the whole series mm. thingy, three hundred views, yeah, and it was like, ah, my mom was one of the people watching and whatever, just the people from the church, the mm-hmm. same three hundred people. Mm-hmm. Right? Until like one person shared it and then it blew up. Like, yeah, millions That's of crazy. views Who was all that? of a sudden. Kim Kardashian or someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, people are now like just his, people adding him and whatever. And him, for him, it's like, Whoa. you know, it's like yeah. this stuff kind of came. Like, I wasn't chasing it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so it's, and you find like it's easy to even like detach right. from that thing because it's like, I'm just being this. Yeah. Whether this thing comes, I mean, it's here now, it's good. This yeah. is why I'm getting all these yeah. interviews and whatever. Yeah. But even if it wasn't there, I'll still be that guy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's, it's what's like, what's the image of, of greatness? And I feel like even like I have kind of fallen for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, like you post something, you're like, ah, two likes. Yeah. Um, ah, did you think I, this no, was? <laughs> I, I deleted I did, the whole fight campaign. I posted one. Oh, yeah. I was like, um, people were sharing though. I'm deleting this book. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, it, yeah, it, it really just made me think and just sit down and be like, cool. You know, like, I've woken up today. I've got breath for a reason. Right. Mm, why? Why? Cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, why? Why? Mm. Why? There's something I'm supposed to do. Mm, is it that I'm, wow. I'm alive now so that I should be posting and getting, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, there's something I'm here to do and, wow. and I should be doing that. Yeah. And if I do that, then that's, that's success. A good you know what I'm saying? Have, eh? Yeah. And so, I mean, obviously, like you said, I'm progressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm progressing. I'm progressing. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, and it's, it's those things, right? And if no one, I, I know for sure, there's a span. Mm. As a span of people who, obviously, the whole social media thing, we kind of act like, yeah, mm. like it's cool. Mm. But mm. we think about it. These are things like we we subconsciously value, right? right? Like, ah, my followers haven't been growing of late. What's this yeah. story? I do make a boost. I've been losing a, followers. You know, me, yeah? yeah, me too. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why you want me. Whether that, you are, I don't you, know why you are you, following me. You have followed me this week. I feel like I bumped into someone this in shop right. And uh, like, hi, I'm, I'm coming for you. Ah. I'm ca- you. Did I? Come back. Come back. Maybe it's because of you repeating the same swag? Yeah, possibly. Cause now Do you know you wore this at my show in 2017? 2017. No, man, this another. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the same one. It's not the one. It smells 
It smells good. <laughs> At least. Yeah, 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 yeah. They haven't paid me. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Not yet, not yet. But, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's 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 in those things of where um, one of the people again, I guess I can applaud is Mark Forty Four is doing this thing like Truth Tuesday. True, yeah. Yeah. Every Tuesday, I mean, he'll tell you the truth. So far, from the stuff I've heard, it's not. Ah, nice stuff. No, I'm saying like, yeah. oh, here's the truth about me. I started producing this, this, and then I got this opportunity, yeah. and then this is, mm, like, yo, it's, it's deep stuff. Eh? Yeah, it's like, ah, uh, I stopped smoking a long time ago, but mm, every still, time I still, get like a whiff of it, it's still, like, it's ah. still creeps up, yeah. And that's exactly, good. That's yeah. good. And that, like, that's exactly what people need to hear because no one's gonna talk about it, but everyone's going through it. You know what I'm saying? I wanna mm. add on. Mm. And I want to go back to the same. So this we've pretty much gone from like vulnerability now to kind of like identity, like understanding yeah. yourself before you put yourself out. Remember the thing about um, unmet expectations, kind of like breeds frustration and all mm. that stuff. I think it's the same thing when you know um, people, well, minister, call them Christians. Well, yeah. well, Christians go up to somebody and just give them this whole. Um, you know, give your life to Christ, man. Once you give your life to Christ, it's gonna be perfect. You gonna, mm. you know, forget everything and blah blah blah, mm. blah 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 blah. It's gonna be amazing. Why is that pastor have an American voice? Huh? Eh? Why does that pastor? Have <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know. <laughs> when, you give, when, when you give your life to Christ, ah, yes, but I tell you the truth. It, it, could, it, could, it, could, it express Christ in a good way, in a good way, <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> now, now, give me twenty kwacha. <laughs> that's what I did. That's fair. <laughs> but pretty much, yeah. we go to people. Yeah. And this happened to me, right? Mm. I was, I got, I got saved in 2014. Mm. All right. I got saved in 2014. Um, before that, I wasn't like I wasn't, um, you know what I mean? This this rebel kid, yeah, just uh, just sinning mm. forms of sin. Every I was normal, yeah. like I was a normal guy. You know, I would sin occasionally, casual yeah. sin, casual, mm. just casual sin. Mm. But then, um, when I got saved. Mm. I feel like I met some Christians. Yeah, quite right there. They love Jesus. They were, mm. but they were a bit too religious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's I. I received the side of it as though if I become, they sold me an expectation mm. of when I get saved, I'm going to be one like you mm. in all your self righteous religious. Mm. And two, I'm gonna just receive yeah. like everything will be perfect. Mm. And then what happened is when I continued my life, I was hitting the club still in yeah. two weeks later. Yeah. And then I'm thinking to myself, like, ah, you know, like, like I'm frustrated. Why yeah. can't I get this right? Mm-hmm. When someone should have told me, bruh, it's a journey. Yeah. Jesus said in the, in the Bible, he said, he said, you know, it's I'm sending you like a sheep amongst wolves. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the Bible again says, if you fall down, if you sin, get up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So pretty much that's, that's, it's a journey. Mm. It's 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 a lifestyle. It's a journey, yeah. and it con- it's it's a constant progression of just faith, and um, it Im- improves your quality of life yeah. so much. You know what I mean? But there will be falls, mm. and there is like a help to help you up. Yeah, you know what I mean. Quicker yeah. than you would do yeah. your own strength. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like if we're gonna share something with someone, also mm. is be smart about it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I like mean. You said before. Yeah, I, I kind of said to catch you. Um, like even when you're talking about like the whole like walk with Christ mm-hmm. thing, um, I have <laughs> uh, <laughs> God is a gangster. I was God. <laughs> God is a G. God is a G. Let me tell you, God, God is a G. <laughs> Don't be in it. Don't be in it. Yeah, it's like I was. I was. I think it was two, two or three weeks ago. Yeah. Right. So my head is spinning. Mm. I'm anxious, uh, you know, going through stuff. I don't know how to do certain things. I have mm. a bunch of questions going on in my head. My heart also emotionally, I'm just feeling everything. And I'm just like, I just sat in my bed and I'm yeah. like, God, uh-huh. this is everything I'm uh, going through, right? Yeah, yeah. And like in that moment, I'm like, I just, I just need, I need a way to yeah. get out of this. I need a way for this to kind of stop, right? right? And right, yeah. in that moment, I just kind of felt God say, like, I understand. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like everything you're saying, everything you're feeling. Wow, that's quite dope. I yeah. understand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, and. I, I don't know, like, if it, the way God works, I ish, bruh, like, sometimes I, I still don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, like, like in that moment, 
I remember, you know, that scripture that talks about like he's a high priest and like mm-hmm. you know he sympathizes or like empathizes with like what we go through. It's not mm-hmm. just out here like, yo, I'm God, bro. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't have fears, mm-hmm. bro. Like, come on, mm-hmm. rise above this, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like, nah, I'm down there with you. Like, mm-hmm. I'm I'm in the valley with you. And mm-hmm. yeah, man, like even just like to pretty much add on to like what you said, even. Like, even in our vulnerable states, mm. right? God is not kind of just out there. Like, even him is like, oh, I'm waiting for this side that yeah. you showed me. This side where you worship me. This yeah. side where you have just got faith. This yeah. side where... Yeah. It's like, nah, bruh. I see all the sides. And, like, you can be vulnerable with me. And I'm. Not, it's not like that's his expectation, right? Yeah. Like, oh, show me this perfect side. Yeah. His expectation is everything that you are. Like so all of the relationship, in, you know, yeah. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so even even in that vulnerable state, yeah. he's that he's that guy who's like, I feel you, you know? I understand what you're going yeah. through. Yeah. 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 That's 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 crazy, man. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, uh we we can we uh, there's there's one thing. <laughs> uh, okay. I want you to uh, tell us. Tell me, bro. Be vulnerable about one thing right here, right now. Ah. In the spirit of practicing vulnerability. I'll trust y'all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we need to know about that me. you are progressing. Yeah, I, I think <clears throat> I've, made, I've, come, I've kind of like made it a practice to kind of be vulnerable and kind of like communicate that, you know? Mm. This is what I'm, I'm dealing with. Yeah. But, yeah, I think... I'll be vulnerable in, in, in telling you who I am. Okay. I guess because that's a big question. I don't know where to start. I can say, well, okay, uh, <laughs> I've got a bad eating disorder uh, with chocolate. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not proud of it, guys, <laughs> but I'm working on uh, it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, um, I'm uh, Julian. I, I'm a Christian pop artist, yeah. right? I love Jesus and I sing songs and I hope to inspire people and lead them to uh, Christ. You know what I mean? Through not only my music, but my whole being. You know yeah. what I mean? So, mm. whatever position, if I one day decide to be a comedian or whatever, mm. I'll still be the same person, yeah. same mission at heart. Yeah. Now, during th- that's that's the mission, and during that process, I'm still like, you know what I mean, trying to figure out a whole bunch of stuff. Someone mm. once asked me, I posted up um, an image once, and I was chilling with 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 my boys, mm. chilling somewhere, <clears throat> and yo, yeah, we we we, we bathed, yeah, we bathed, mm. so it looked kind of cool. And I guess the whole setup, you know, social media, look kind of, ah, these guys are happening. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. There was a girl that hit me up on WhatsApp, and she saw it, and she was like, wow, you, you, you I want to be like you. You seem to have it all together. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm know? like, whoa. Hold <laughs> up, hold up. And I felt so apologetic, funny enough. Mm. Like, I know usually you'd be like, ah, ha, yeah, 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 girl, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> Ain't no sweet without sweat. Yeah. <laughs> but then, like, um... A lot of people, I think, don't know that, yes, I like taking good photos. Yes, mm. I like posting up what the Lord has blessed me with mm. when it comes to food sometimes. And I'm yeah. like, look at this, because I'm excited. I want to show it up. You know, like, but but um, my life isn't perfect. Mm. Like... I'm, I'm, I'm doing music and I told you the goal is pretty much to share what I've been through and how God has helped me through my situations to other people yeah. you know but I don't want people to get it twisted that because I'm doing that I've got it figured out yeah so um, that's what I want to be vulnerable around is I want I want to tell people that mm. um, I am not your pastor you are I am not. You are. I am not. You are. Okay, then give me tech, guys. <laughs> give me tech. No, you don't have a church, but you are <laughs> the pastor. Yeah, you are a pastor. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. like, so pretty much, like, mm. I pretty much, I'm in this family. Mm. You know what I mean? And uh, God has called me his son and yeah. his servant. Yeah. And he's told me to love my brothers. Mm. Now, in this family, if you guys have siblings listening, yeah. I've got siblings. Siblings fight sometimes. Yeah. Siblings are good sometimes I'm a big yeah. brother so sometimes I would I would love to just like help my, my brother out mm. with, with something even though sometimes I might not have it figured out yeah. you know what I mean so pretty much I'm progressing yeah. and um, I'm still learning a whole bunch of stuff from the Bible with faith and everything and um, the mission is still at heart mm. is I still want to show love to people I still want to do this mm. but I'm still learning to also mm. yeah man crazy <laughs> I remember 
you may say that I remember there was a time like there was rumors <laughs> flying around I don't know why people talk I'm such a sweet guy uh, like there was rumors flying around about uh, like me and a friend of mine like who had a certain party and like we had like space cakes and then you know, just like wilding out hollering at girls yeah. and like what's up and I was like hey like that's nothing like me you know what I'm saying yeah. but then what bothered me the most is what if it was true Mm. And I'm saying like mm. what if what if we we did go to mm. this party and we were mm. like we're just wilding out it's like is this yeah. the kind of like is yeah. is this like the love was supposed to be receiving you know what I'm yeah. saying like like where's the love like where's the care where's yeah. the actual I'm concerned bro like are you good you know what I'm saying like yeah like what's going on like are you proper did with every action um the fruit is never is never really the the the, the the bulky stuff it's the root yeah so pretty much if you see me today um if you see me let's see let's see let's see give me give me a, 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 anything if i see you at the bar game uh, lit yeah there. chugging it bro chug 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 yeah chug. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 then mm. in every action i do pretty much if you dig down to the root there's always a root yeah and that root is where belief mm. and thought process is, yeah. is is derived from yeah so pretty much um yeah if if you see someone we're quick to just take the the fruit we see it and we judge from it yeah. you know what i mean which is obviously the natural thing like ah oh, yeah. so put on but someone actually challenged me once because i did that i was like can you believe i was talking to someone like can mm. you believe that guy I, like ah, what was he doing you know what i mean yeah ha ah, he slept with who Oh. When he's got a what? Oh. 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 <laughs> and then that person challenged me. They're like, "Yeah, man, did you talk to them about it?" Mm-hmm. Uh, no, but uh, it's on. Uh, you know, you've heard the story. Yeah. <laughs> you've heard the story. Yeah, yeah. You've heard the story. Yeah. Ah, I was, I was challenged. Eh? I was yeah. like, "Ah, no, nah, mm. did, you, did you speak to them?" That's it. I spoke to them, mm. and the guy told me, "Bro." I can't lie to you. That relationship I, I was in was really abusive. Mm. It was this, 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 yeah. this, this, this. On top of that, that day I was doing this and that. Yeah. Um, I didn't actually sleep with that person. Yeah. That person just likes me. I, I, you know what I mean? Mm. But, yeah. and, and once you have two sides of the story and actually get yeah. it to someone and understand what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. I feel you. And sometimes it's not even like, a, it's not even like to justify, right? Yeah. It's just... You get to understand mm. that you know, like people kind of just we all go through it, man. Like, yeah. like we all go through it. There's I don't know if you can remember <laughs> what, but I think it was Andrew Andrew Sakala. Like when he was like uh, when he came to class and he was like uh, <laughs> like all of us in here are potential prostitutes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> like that's, all that's, potential that's, thieves. Like yeah. it just it just takes that's, yeah. that right amount of pressure. Like exactly. we all go through it. So exactly. like just because like one thing might not be easy for me to slip up in doesn't mean that even you it's yeah. like uh, you can't slip up. Yeah. Like sad. Like for you it might yeah. be different and you might yeah. be going through a whole different thing going on in your head and you're like oh, you know what yeah. you slip up and then man should go and be like ah, sad. How could you like uh, but you may have done stuff in my life. Well, mm-hmm. But now Bruh. the thing is, like, mm. before that, I never thought I would do that. Exactly. You know what, you know what I'm saying? And before that, I never knew that I, I was dead. capable of doing that. You know, I feel like we should normalize, we should normalize, um, I think it's, it's somewhere in James, right? It talks about, like, confess your sins one to another yeah. so that you can be healed. Mm-hmm. Like, that scripture wasn't written for, like, people who are mm-hmm. just, like, you know, like, mm-hmm. non-believers. It was for Christians. Yeah. Like, when you do sin, yeah. confess. Yeah. Those things, so that yeah. you can be like confess it to your brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's it's that thing of we need to normalize that. You know? yeah. Like like let's yeah. have a sin confession yeah. session yeah. and just sit down yeah. and be like, ah, yeah. what's yeah. your yeah. sins? <laughs> ah, mine is this one. You what did you <laughs> sin? <laughs> ah, me, I sinned this. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It yeah. it. I think there's. I mean, the Bible is truth. There's healing in that. There is. Right. There's 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 definitely healing. Uh, <laughs> there's a random man who was. He said it as a joke, but it it made sense, man. Uh, like he was like, ah, you know, it's wild when the Christian comes and says, I ah, you know, guys, ah, you know, the Bible says we should confess. I so, ah, no, let's, let's just <laughs> let's just confess. And like, because I mean, obviously, one thing like we should we can all like attest to is vulnerability is not easy. No, it's not. It's not easy because even that's like in in the word itself, vulnerable. You feel there's a certain. 
I mean, I'm being exposed. Yeah. You know, like yeah. there's a ah, there's a nakedness yeah. to it. It's like yeah. ah, guys, you should see what's yeah. going on yeah. on the inside. Yeah. 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 Um. But definitely on the other side of it is there's healing, and like you said, there's some. I strongly feel like there's a lot of like identity stuff attached to it, mm. right? Because the moment people can get to see you for who you are, mm-hmm. it kind of liberates you as well. It does. You kind yeah. of now stop like, mm, I, I mean, I shouldn't, what, what? It's yeah. like, ah, I can just be this, right? So yeah. you can be progressing, you can be learning, you can be what? And it's just this whole sense of freedom. Yeah. Right. I don't have to pretend like I've got no last issues. Yeah. You know. <laughs> fun, fun, you know? fun story is. Um, <clears throat> so, I used to like heavily suck. Mm. I'm not talking about in the rain. You know. <laughs> so like I used to like drink badly. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm. So now the situation is I used to do that, um, and you know like I used to hide it from mm. my brother. Mm. My brothers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever we go to to a chill out place or with my boys, mm. I'll usually just like, um, you know what I mean, put it up in in a, like like in a Coca Cola, yeah, you know, like the yeah. color you can guide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even become creative. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you, you go creative. to the bar and do you have an Apple Max bottle? Mm. Yeah. So pretty much, I used to like hide it up. Yeah. And then, yeah, you know, one day. I was with my my it was a group of friends and my brother was there and I got mm. this this coke and yeah. added some some there some there and I'm ooh you know just yeah. vibing out mm. and then my boy yeah he gets so confident what are you drinking man yeah. I'm drinking Coca Cola bro <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 let me smell it bro <laughs> <laughs> let me smell yeah. it yeah like this nigga this <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean and yeah. then this guy gets my my cup and I'm like. Mm, that's not cook, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at my brother. And I'm like, I know what it is. Yeah, I then, know what it is. Yeah, and he yeah. doesn't even know he's performed. So then I'm yeah. like, I'm, I look at my brother and I'm like, Yeah, man. Uh, like, ah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm yeah. sorry. I'm supposed to be yeah. here. I mean, but then you know what that did is mm. going forward. In, whenever I have a mm, a fallout mm. and man does a bit of something, yeah. he now knows, like, before, all of my energy was exerted in keeping it a secret. Yeah. But now, I'm, it takes the load off yeah. knowing that, okay, bruh, you know this is, ah, me, I'm trying to stop. Mm. I'm yeah. trying. Yeah. My God, like, just last week, I I did this, you know, I mean, I had a glass. Mm-hmm. You know, so if he sees me have a glass today, he, he, there's now accountability that's entered exactly. the scene. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. now it's like, yeah. bruh, mm. Julian, you're drinking. Mm. He's, not, he's not shocked. Mm. You know what I mean? He's not expecting me, like, yeah. before I saw him, the expectation of yeah. alcohol is of the devil. Mm. You know what I mean? But yeah. now it's like, yeah. now he's, 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 he's got a different viewpoint because I've given yeah. him another, ex, you know what I mean? Another yeah. uh, blueprint or whatever to yeah. say, okay, this that's is what true. I'm going to. So now. And I feel like that's like that's where the healing is, right? right? Exactly. It's, it's in that. First of all, is like there's that freedom of mm. ah, you know what? Mm. It's out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's out there. There's no hiding. There's right. no. Ah, I right. kind of have to present myself a certain way. There's yep. that freedom, and then there's that accountability. Yeah. And it, I guess, it also kind of like changes your mindset. It does, right? Because if if I'm going to hide something, right, I can easily continue it. Because no one knows, and you're not dealing right? with it properly. Exactly, because uh, no one knows. So, uh, it's okay. Mm-hmm. It can still be happening. Mm-hmm. Loki, Loki, Loki. Right. Uh, no one knows. No one knows. Uh, it's cool, and it's not being there. Exactly. With. Yeah, but then when it's out there, it also kind of changes the mindset of you know what they already know. Mm-hmm. I can I can actually get healing for this. You know yes. what I'm saying? So even when it's wild and I'm the temptation is there, exactly, it's like you know what today I might go so. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. Today I might holler at this chick. Mm, today it's you know what I'm saying? It's it it even changes how you. Approach you actually now want the accountability. Truth be told, to people yeah. listening, if right now after this podcast, I go and I get, well, I mean, shop right with Josh and we buy, mm. and I buy a bottle of what Josh knows my background bottle. You know <laughs> what I mean? Mm. It won't shock you, but it'll kind of be like, ah, okay, mm, bah. he won't be shocked actually. You know, the, ah, I might even come, he'll be like, ah, you're performing. Yeah. Mm. You know, you have to, you have to drink. You know mm. what I mean? It, and it's, it, it goes back to that. What I want to say though is don't get it twisted. Um, the whole house philosophy is walls are needed. 
Mm. But a gate is also the the gate is where you let the good in, exactly, but yeah. and you prevent the bad yeah. out. So yeah. for me, I tried working with the whole. <clears throat> let me be vulnerable because I'm used to exercise. I've got a circle of friends, like mm. maybe four. Yeah, I've got four friends, four mm. like friends, 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 and these are the friends like I'm actually, you know, what I mean, vulnerable with. Yeah. Now, I got so used in that practice of. You know what I mean? Sharing yeah. that one time, this was last week actually, there's a relative of mine mm. and we're chilling and we're hanging out. Um, eee, what happened? I told him about, about how I performed, um, you know what I mean? How I messed up mm. pretty much like, mm. like, like a month ago. And I was like, yeah, I was so casual about it mm. because I thought that he's going to you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's gonna be some this, grace this, and some at truth this, here. At this point in time, I pretty much like I pretty much was so used. My gate was wide open mm. because I'm so used to like, oh yeah, we live in a good Christian nation, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that surprise. Yeah. So then I was like, yeah. Whew, dude, ah, yeah, man. Can you imagine last time I performed? I just and then like, oh, you're like, man, ah, mm. and I felt so so much. Not grace, not. Mm. I felt so much. Yeah, lie. I didn't expect that from you, but yeah. obviously yeah, it's yeah. a shock. Mm. But it was <clears> more like everything you have to say after this. Yeah. Ah, yeah, performer. Mm. You. Yeah. You. Ah, you. Yeah. A man of God. A man of Jesus. Ah. Yeah. And then I was just, I was just like, <laughs> yeah. I felt so closed off. Mm. Now, it's a matter of understanding, and this is where people. Oh, sometimes, this is why people sometimes aren't vulnerable is because of past experiences. Mm. So your past experiences pretty much shape yeah. your beliefs about exactly. vulnerability. Yeah. And it is good. Mm. You know what I mean? It's yeah. good. Having a gate is good. Opening it and allowing cars to come in is is yeah. good if the car entering is, a, is, yeah. a, is good for you. Yeah. I think, uh, ish, man, I feel like even just to like, encourage everybody listening, watching, uh, is like have that, right? Like yeah. have Like have exactly that. Have like this. There has to be an outlet. Oh, like yeah, there, there has to be a place definitely, where yeah. you can be completely vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Right. And just be like, guys, this right. is it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. that, like, that's that's the truth of who we are. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There, there has to be a place where we can be completely ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Social media, yeah, we we put up to my different things. So I'm gonna post everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Before we take a selfie, we make yeah. sure the angles are right, we make sure our face is clean. You yeah. know, but there there has to be that place where we can be our our Self. whole selves. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's yeah. These are the good things about me. Mm. These are the ugly things about mm. me. These are the mm-hmm. things about my mm-hmm. past. These are the things about my past that are still affecting me now. Mm. And like mm-hmm. there there has to be that place and like you said it it, it has to be a um, a safe place where when you expose who you are yeah. you're embraced yeah. right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when you mm-hmm. come because you know the yeah. whole vulnerability thing there's this nakedness when you're there they clothe you you know what I'm saying right. Right. not when things are exposed it's like ah ah look look ah yeah. look ah yeah. look, 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 look. Yeah. I'm in this space where you now know everything right. and right. then they clothe you mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. yeah so you 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 need that uh, because obviously there's that freedom that we've obviously talked about and there's that there's that healing yeah there's there's that healing that comes with it mm. so yeah man uh, I think that's that's pretty much it yeah so yeah spoken for quite a long time <clears throat> yeah guys what, one of the reasons like this this whole podcast was birthed is I'm currently going through like a season where um learning relearning and learning stuff right mm. we've kind of talked about this before is yeah so you know god just kind of put it on my heart like what you're going through now this season on whatever there's gonna be moments where you learn stuff yeah there's gonna be moments where you have to relearn stuff mm. and there has to be moments where you have to unlearn certain mm. things especially mm. like mindsets and whatever and so vulnerability was one of those things where god said bro you have to relearn this, right? Because I thought, you know, like you said, like you just kind of get used to, ah, no, yeah. ah guys, this was cutting, yeah. this was cutting. Yeah. And I thought, ah, you know what? I've got a hand on this thing, you know, this this is what vulnerability is. Yeah. You know, I've got yeah. friends who are again. Yeah. yeah. And like, you kind of take it for granted, like, ah, I know what it is. I know the, I know the benefits yeah. and whatever. Right? And so like, you know, God said, trust me, mm. you don't. You know mm. what I'm saying? You you have to relearn this. And yeah. because I went through it for such a season, I figured, ah, 
Right. I've got my hand on this thing. And I think those maybe last month or something and I found myself talking to uh, talking, talking to another friend I've said a lot of names in this podcast yeah and maybe you should stop name dropping but yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> continue you're being vulnerable I, I, yeah, you know first mm-hmm. podcast Vita Vita mm-hmm. yeah I was I was talking to a guy uh, Gift Munali Munali and like we well, were well, slamming games the whole day FIFA what not I was taking him home and then like we were just in the car chilling and you know, like just like I found myself just opening about certain stuff and certain things and started becoming clear, right? And like I'm telling him stuff that I'm insecure about and I didn't know. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, this is you no know, like stuff I'm feeling insecure about yeah, and I just right. feel like when this happens, A B C D and like the one also tuned that you know I was been doing something similar. Mm. I'm like, ah, okay, cool. Mm. No, for me mm. it's actually like this and like mm. this and like mm. and it's it's in that space where Gift knows me a certain way, and I know Gift a certain way. Yeah. Right. But then in that space, it's like, oh, I didn't know this about Gift. Yeah. But I still embrace him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I didn't know this about Josh, but I still embrace him. Right. Right. And that's that's I guess even like you said, like sometimes when we open up to like the wrong places, the wrong spaces, we kind of now like kind of shun this whole Detach. vulnerability thing. You know what? If this is how you see me, mm-hmm. then fine. You see that mm-hmm. I won't show you mm-hmm. all this other stuff. And that's actually healthy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. like yo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually healthy. Exactly. Distance this, yourself. If from you see that this one, it's wild. Uh, yeah. I don't you know hate you, saying? but yeah. I'm not going to talk to you about my stuff. Exactly. Like yo, if this is the you know this is the yeah. boundary of our friendship, that's cool. Yeah. 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 So that's that's it's that's that's that that's that guys. So yeah. Currently going through a period where I'm relearning vulnerability. Yeah. Um. Openly just talking about stuff. Uh. You know how I feel, especially stuff to do like with emotions. We kind of feel like I'll deal with that alone, right? When I, there's there's opportunities to open up um to people, friends, and that that inner circle. So, yeah. Welcome to the journey. Yep. Podcast episode one with my man. Julian yeah. Roberts. Uh, no, yeah, no, you, you're supposed to say that the surname like that. Roberts. People think um, I'm foreign. Oh, people think you're I'm foreign. Yeah. I'm really not. You really are. I'm really not. My brother, you should see yourself. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you are not of this world. You guys be giving me pressure mm. to, to, you know, to let a funny, funny 